Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Akili, and I'm back with the final fairy for the Enchanting series, which is Bloom. So let's not waste any time, and hop right into the video. For the pose, I try to make it different from the other five girls, and one way to do that was to make Bloom hold fire in her hands. Having the fire in her hands just made it so I had a base to go off of when creating the pose, and I also noticed that the other five girls were in kind of a flying motion pose. So for Bloom, I went with a more vertical hovering pose instead. I also apologize for the light that goes across the screen. It was the middle of the day and the sun was peeking through the window. For the coloring, similar to the previous Enchantix girls, the color really depends on which reference you choose to use. I use the transformation sequence as my main reference like the previous ones, but the other reference that I saw a lot was that she had a very rainbowy dress instead of the all blue. I just went with the three tiered blue dress that was in the show. Something that I found interesting when I was choosing colors for the shades of blue on her dress was that they were actually different types of blues. The first layer, which is the topmost layer, was more of a teal green toned blue, and then the second one was a lighter cool tone blue, and the last one was also cool tone blue but darker. This was just something that I didn't notice before, but only found out when I was trying to pick and choose colors to best match the reference I was using. For her hair, I used five different colors to try and add more contrast and just give it a little bit more depth. Typically, I start off with at least three, one for a highlight color, one for the main color, and one for the dark or shadow color. But since Bloom's Enchantix hair had two different colors, I added more markers just to give some of those lighter tones of hair some shadows, and then the darker tones of hair, more shadows, if that makes sense. I'm planning on making a how to color hair with marker tutorial video in the future, so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to let me know in the comments. That way, if there's enough interest in it, then I can bump it up in the schedule or start planning it. I thought I filmed the part where I added yellow around the flame, but I can't seem to find the footage. But basically, I wanted to add some indication that the flame gave off some light instead of just a static flame that had no light properties. So I added in yellow on parts of the clothing that it would affect, like on her gloves and around the dress. When it came to Bloom's wings, it was pretty straightforward except that I did make one small mistake and that is on the bottom right wing. I accidentally colored in a part that was supposed to be yellow, blue. So I tried to dilute it with a colorless blender and it wasn't super successful but it did lighten it up a bit or I could at least get a wash of yellow instead of making it look green. And then one of the last things I did was add the white sparkles around her wings and dress and everywhere that's supposed to be sparkly. But around the flame, I actually used a gold gel pen to add the sparkles just so that it seemed like the flame made the sparkles even a different color. 
So that wraps up the Enchantix series. As I mentioned in the beginning of this series, Enchantix is my favorite transformation. So I'm really happy that I was able to draw all of them. It definitely took a lot longer than I expected it to, but a lot of life changes and events made that extend longer than I would like. I'll be taking a little bit of a break from drawing the main girls, but if you guys want to see me draw any other characters from the Wink series, let me know in the comments down below and I will see who I will draw next. If you enjoyed watching me draw the Wink fairies in my style with alcohol marker, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post more Wink's related videos and more marker related videos. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!